Hi guys, Steve Strickland here with Camtech Engineering. And today from Mastercam Monday, I'm gonna cover the file migration wizard. With the release of Mastercam 2020 last month, we have a number of customers who are making that transition from 2019 to 2020, but we also have a number of customers who are transitioning from older releases, such as X9. And the file migration wizard is gonna aid you in that transition by allowing you to take your files that are at their current release and prepare them for execution within Mastercam 2020. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a few typical scenarios that you'll likely see with that utility. So, as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and let me know if this video has helped you in any way. All right, guys, gonna dive directly into the file migration wizard. And so with Mastercam 2020 open, I'm gonna find the wizard under file, going to convert, and then select migration wizard. And here I have two options. I have a basic and I have an advanced. Now, if you're a uh, Mastercam 2019 user, you're looking to update to 2020 and your install directory is locally on your machine. So for example, you don't have any posts or machine definitions or control files off on the network somewhere, then I recommend you go the basic route. And the difference between basic and advanced, and I'll show you a little bit later, is that advanced allows you to really change your the file types that's converting, your source and destination directories, and gives you more configurability. But this is the easier path if your install is just locally on your machine. So going into basic here, we got our uh, options for source and destination for our shared Mastercam files, as well as our my Mastercam files. And so in this case, I'm updating from 2019 to 2020 and I'm just verifying my source and destination for both of those. Um, they both look, look good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And here's a summary of what's gonna happen. Here's my source and destination again. And this is showing me all of my file types that are gonna be converted. And I'm gonna go ahead and say finish. And the process will start. And we're gonna let this go ahead and run to completion. All right, so now the process is completed and I get the little pop-up dialogue here and saying that the process is complete and do I wanna see the results? If I say yes to this, it's gonna show me an outline of, of what was converted uh, and where, where the destination is. So we're gonna say no to this. That whole process took roughly a little over two minutes to run through and now um, I'm set up with my posts, my machine files, my control files, all set up ready to run on Mastercam 2020. All right, so now I'm gonna go back into the file migration wizard one more time and show you the advanced path. So under the advanced path, we'd wanna use this path if we had files that were on a network drive or we were just doing a specific number of files, say outside of the norm, normal install path for Mastercam. And so if you're doing that, you would select both of these and you would navigate to those network locations wherever your directory was. So what we're gonna do is we have this set up to where I downloaded a, a post from the tech exchange that's at a version 2017 and I wanna convert that to version 2020. So I've already set up on the desktop a directory that contains those files. And here they are. Um, I, have, I have my control file, I have my machine definition, I have my post. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a destination folder within that folder itself titled 2020. And so now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna set my source folder on my desktop. And then I'm gonna go here. This is my source folder. This is where I ex extracted the zip file. So, okay. And my destination, I'm going to go to the same directory. This time selecting my source file that I, source folder I just created, titled 2020. I'm gonna say okay. And I'm gonna say next. And with the advanced option, it gives me the option to, you know, turn off files I don't want to convert. I'm just going to go ahead and leave this all defaulted. I'm going to go next. And since I'm, I know that I'm going from a 17 to a 20, I'm going to deselect 18 and 19. Say next. And here we go. There's a summary page. As we saw when the basic, basic route, this all looks good. And I'm going to say finish. And so now it's starting up, it's gonna convert, and this will be a much faster process than we saw before. We're gonna let this run to completion. All right, so now the process is complete. We're gonna say no to seeing the results. We're gonna go in our directory and verify that the 2020 files now exist 
and there they go it's all set I got my post I have my uh, machine definitions and I have my control file so now we're gonna move these guys to be in the correct folder within within master cam so I'm gonna open another file Explorer I'm gonna navigate to let's see here let me get the window set up correctly I'm gonna navigate to my folder that I want to dump them into C go to users public public documents, shared master cam 2020, and in the CNC uh, machines directory, I wanna put the control file and machine definitions. I'm gonna drag those in, and then I'm gonna go out one directory, and I'm gonna go to the lathe directory, and go to posts, and this is where I would drag the post file in. So this is gonna close out our master cam Monday on the file migration wizard. I hope you found this useful. I hope you're able to apply it in your day to day when you're transitioning from 2019 to 2020 or earlier to 2020. Um, if you have any questions on this or if you are updating from a older version than 2017, let's say at X8, X9, um, I recommend you contact your, your master cam reseller for that. If you're in the state of Florida, contact us. We will help you with that transition. It's a little bit more involved than the one I just walked through today. Um, we'll walk you through that. We'll, we'll help the, on, those, on those migrations. So I thank you for turning in and make sure you tune in every Monday as we walk through the MasterCam 2020 release, as well as cover tech support cases and other useful information for the MasterCam community. So thank you for tuning in. See you next week. <laughs>